Mr. DeJoy, what do you say to veterans whose medications haven't arrived on time? The livestock has arrived, not alive. The Postal Service is fully capable and committed to delivering the nation's ballots securely and on time. This sacred duty is my number one priority between now and Election Day. To be clear, we will do everything we can to handle and deliver election mail in a manner consistent with the proven processes and procedures that we have re relied upon for years. Nevertheless, I encourage all Americans who choose to vote by mail to request their ballots early and to vote early as a common sense best practice. As part of this conversation, there are many inaccuracies about my actions that I wish to again correct. First, I did not direct the removal of blue collection boxes or the removal of mail processing equipment. Second, I did not direct the cutback on hours at any of our postal, post offices. And finally, I did not direct the elimination or any cutback in overtime. I did, however, suspend these practices to, to remove any misperceptions about our commitment to delivering the nation's election mail. Any further assertions by the media or elected officials is furthering a false narrative to the American people that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Whatever the cause of these massive delays, the American people want to go back to the way things were. They don't want these changes. They want them reversed. They don't want anyone messing with the post office, and they certainly don't want it politicized. They want to have confidence that their mail, their medicine, their ballots will be delivered on time. Today, sir, I'm searching for the good. I haven't, uh, haven't seen that. But meaningful reform is going to take bipartisanship, something we have seen very little of in the last few days. Democrats fabricated a baseless conspiracy theory about the Postal Service and hastily passed a bill Saturday but before hearing from you, Mr. DeJoy. The bill had no prior committee action to vet the bill, no hearings, no markup. End quote. This list goes on and on.